testing and optimization in MetaTrader 4. Now that we have MetaTrader 4 successfully installed and we have a demo account up and running, today we can focus on the strategy tester window and the navigation controls that operate it. So here in front of you, you can see the MetaTrader 4 uh, platform. And um, uh, at the bottom here, we have the terminal window. And this is what your platform will look like if you've opened it for the first time. And uh, you can see your demo account uh, name and number over here on the left. Uh, if we click around in the terminal tab, uh, in the terminal tabs, you will notice that uh, there isn't a tab for the strategy tester. And that is because the strategy tester has its own separate window, which we can open by pressing this button up over here, which is called the strategy tester. So we'll just go ahead and do that. Um, as you can see, a new window has popped up at the bottom here, uh, which is called the tester window. Now we want to close the terminal window because we don't have any active trades that we need to monitor and we don't really need the terminal window at this stage. We can do that either by uh, unclicking the terminal button over here or alternatively we can uh, just click the X button over here on the top left. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. And um, now the first thing that we'll do, uh, we'll just pull this navigator uh, tab uh, to the right so that uh, we can see a bit more uh, of these two windows. Now at the bottom we have uh, the tester window and um, I already have a uh, expert advisor and symbol selected. Yours are probably blank at this stage, but uh, we'll fix that uh, shortly. So uh, there are quite a few controls here and uh, let's uh, uh, go through them one by one to understand what they do. Uh, the first uh, control allows you to select an expert advisor and um, uh, basically that means uh, you have to specify which Forex robot you want to test. And as you can see, these uh, expert advisors here um, represent the same ones which you can see uh, in your expert advisors uh, folder in the navigator. And basically that means that you can select any one of the expert advisors that's installed in your uh, platform currently. And at this stage, it's just the two prepackaged uh, expert advisors that come with MetaTrader 4. So we'll go ahead and select the moving average and um, go, we'll move on to the next control. The next control is a symbol. Here um, you can choose from a variety of uh, different financial instruments uh, on which you would like to test your expert advisor. Um, and these are the same financial instruments as you have here in the market watch. Um, next is the period and uh, the periods on the right here. Currently it's selected uh, the, the hourly period is selected. Um, you can select any other period on which you want to test your uh, expert advisor. And uh, the reason for this control is uh, because MetaTrader 4 has historically been developed in a very specific way. And uh, that way is that if you launch an expert advisor on, on a chart, you're not only launching it on that financial instrument, but you're also launching it on that specific time frame of the chart. So let's let's look at an example. If I open a euro dollar here and um, I choose the four hourly chart, then launching an expert advisor on the hourly chart will be different to launching an expert advisor on the four hourly chart. And that is applicable to all expert advisors, except for the cases when they're specifically coded in a way that disregards the period on which they're launched, which is quite rare. Usually expert advisors use the bars of the period they're launched on uh, or the chart they're launched on, and therefore the period uh, has a significant influence. That feature of MetaTrader 4 is different, for example, to the Ducas Copy JForex platform, where uh, if you launch an expert advisor or Forex robot, you launch it on a financial instrument. And then within the expert advisor itself, the code has to decide which periods it will work with. In MetaTrader 4, it's not like that. In MetaTrader 4, uh, the period which you're launching uh, the expert advisor on has significant influence on the outcomes and performance of the Forex robot. So that's why uh, you should always remember to choose the correct period for your expert advisor. Now let's move on to the next um, control, which is the model. We'll talk about these three different types of models uh, separately in another uh, tutorial in this course, but for now it's sufficient for us to understand that uh, open prices is the least precise model for testing, but it is the fastest one for testing. Control points is the average, and every tick is the most precise model, but 
it takes the longest to run a test on this model. Uh, next, uh, we're going to move on to uh, the date controls. So here you can specify a date where you, within which you want to test the expert advisor. So for example, if you want to test it from uh, the start of this year, then you uh, just put in uh, 1st of January and then you can test it up to today or you can test it up to any other date in the past. Visual mode will uh, specify whether you want to see uh, how uh, the test is uh, progressing on the chart over here or uh, if you just want to get the results. So if you untick this, you'll just get uh, the result for the test without actually seeing when the trades were open. So obviously, uh, without the visual mode, it's faster. With visual mode, you, you get to see when the trades are occurring. Uh, skip to allows you to skip to a certain date during a visual mode test. So if you um, set the date like say uh, 2nd of uh, June and you're starting from the start of the year you can watch it at the start of the year and then click skip to and it'll skip to a certain date. Next uh, the spread uh, parameter here is quite new I think it was introduced in one of the recent builds and uh, if you're using MetaTrader 4 above uh, build 600 then you definitely should have it and um, this uh, allows you to specify with which spread you want to test your expert advisor. It's a very convenient function. As you can see here, the spread right now is uh, two pips. I might want to test my expert advisor with five pips and there, there you can choose it. You can also enter any other value you want in here. You don't have to select one of the drop down. The optimization button, we'll talk about that uh, later, but basically it allows you to optimize your expert advisors. Also, there's a few controls on the right here. Uh, modify expert that will go into MQL4 to change the code for the expert advisor. Uh, open chart, I never use that button myself, but basically I guess it just opens the chart. Uh, symbol properties, also we'll talk about that separately. And expert property bring, expert properties brings up the uh, parameters of the expert advisors. Uh, so we'll talk about this uh, more in the coming tutorials. I look forward to seeing you there. If you're watching on YouTube, do subscribe to the channel to be notified when I post the next free tutorial. Testing and optimization in MetaTrader 4. In the previous tutorial, we learned how to navigate the strategy tester window. And today we're going to be talking about backtesting. So what is a backtest and what is the process of backtesting? Investopedia defines backtesting as the process of testing a trading strategy on prior time periods. Instead of applying a strategy for the time period forward, which could take years, a trader can do a simulation of his or her trading strategy on relevant past data in order to gauge its effectiveness. So what does that mean in reality? Let's draw a timeline and uh, let's put a cross on the timeline to represent today. Anything to the left of the, of the cross is uh, the past and uh, the dashed line to the right is the future. For us to evaluate effectiveness of a trading strategy, we would have to launch it today and then wait a sufficient number of time for the strategy to accumulate a certain number of trades that would allow us to say whether the strategy is effective or not. Uh, depending on the strategy, it could take from several weeks to several months or uh, possibly even a year. Therefore, we can use backtesting to significantly limit the amount of time that we require to evaluate effectiveness of our strategy. Backtesting involves selecting two points in the past, point A and point B, and then using the data between these two points to run a simulated test of our trading strategy. And based on that test, we can evaluate whether our trading strategy would have been effective if it were launched in the past. And Based on that evaluation, we can decide for ourselves whether we want to launch it today or not. And that way we uh, really uh, can speed up the process of evaluation of trading strategies and save ourselves a lot of time. There are a few special cases of back tests. For example, you could select only one point in the past and then run the back test all the way up to today. Or you could select the point in the past as the very uh, first point from which you have data. And that way you'll have a full backtest, which uh, includes the whole of the data set uh, that's available to you. And uh, choosing these points, the starting point and the ending point, really depends on the trading strategy. Uh, for example, for trading strategies working on higher time frames, you might want to use um, several months or years of data. And for trading strategies working on lower time frames, such as uh, the five minutes or 15 minutes time frame, maybe a month or even several weeks of data would be sufficient for a backtest. 
So let's go to uh, MetaTrader 4 now and um, just run our very first back test. Um, here you can select any of the two expert advisors available to you. Uh, select any uh, chart, any period. Um, I recommend selecting control points at this stage just to speed things up. Um, you can ch choose the dates here. These are the two points in time. I'm not going to choose any dates and that way the test will run on the full data set that's available to me. Uh, we'll click visual mode so we can see um, how our test is progressing. And then we'll just click start over here. Um, as you can see, a new chart has appeared and um, a simulation has begun. So MetaTrader 4 uh, takes on that responsibility of running the simulation for you. And this, as you can see, uh, the date here is 30th of April, 2014. And uh, today is, it is already August 2014, but MetaTrader 4 is behaving as if this is happening in real time. And as you can see, um, that allows you to control the speed here. You can like set the speed to slow, and therefore um, everything is happening much slower, or you can sp set the speed to much faster. And um, uh, therefore you're condensing this uh, time that actually happened within days. So every bar here you see, is actually a an hour there you go we we have our first trade that was opened and that was a buy order which uh, which uh, created a loss um so as i was saying every bar here is a hour but it's happening in a matter of less than a second and that that's how you can actually save time on back test um now you can see what's what's happening and this might be a profitable buy order here that's um about to be closed hopefully yep there we go that was a profitable buy order um, if you go to the graph the graph shows you um, how uh, your balance is changing with time so this is actually sorry not with time with every trade so we started with ten thousand dollars and you can see here um, how your balance is going up and down um, journal shows you some journals on uh, what the uh, expert advisor is doing results actually lists every single trade it's been opened it's closed open uh, closed and so on and you can see the profit that every trade is bringing you the report's not ready the report will be ready at the end and at the bottom here uh, the green lines is the volume so as soon as um, there are two at least two trades with different volumes this line will appear and will show you so this was 0.1 lots and the all the previous ones were 0.2 lots and that is um, uh, built into the train strategy so we'll just speed this up to the maximum and as you can see it's finished the test finishes very quickly when you speed it up to the maximum um, and there you go so that was your first back test uh, obviously because it's a pre-packaged expert advisor and it has been optimized it it uh, created a loss on the account but um, that is something that we'll uh, discuss in other tutorials um, and uh, we'll look at profitable uh, expert advisors through this course going forward so that that's that hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, possibly learned something new last time we talked about back testing and we conducted our very own first back test in the MetaTrader 4 trading platform today we're going to discuss expert properties as you can see here I have the MetaTrader 4 platform open in front of me at the bottom I have the tester uh, strategy tester window open uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to just select any expert advisor uh, of the available ones and we'll just click this button up here uh, expert properties so these are the expert property is the expert properties uh, settings window and it has three tabs uh, right away I'll mention that we won't be talking about the optimization tab today we'll be talking about optimization parameters in one of the future tutorials in this course um, today we're going to be talking about these two tabs in the testing tab uh, you can see some some controls which are responsible for uh, the overall test parameters so they're not specific to the expert advisor you'll see these controls uh, you'll see that these controls are the same uh, regardless of which expert advisor you're testing and uh, here you can uh, set the starting deposit which means the balance on your account at the start of the test uh, the account currency and usually people set um, the account currency to match the currency on their actual real live trading account and uh, you can also set which kind of positions you you want your forex robot to be able to open so regardless of the 
algorithm which is built into your trading system you can restrict the forex robot from opening uh say sell orders and that way if you choose long only the uh, trading strategy will be restricted to opening only buy orders or uh, um, on the other hand you can um, restrict it to opening only sell orders by selecting short only uh, normally um, this is rarely used and people tend to uh, stick to both long and short but in some circum circumstances this um, control might be might come in handy so it's good to know that it's there so we'll leave this at long and short um, once again we won't be talking about optimization in this tutorial so we'll skip uh, this section over here and now we'll go to the inputs and the inputs is the main um, tab of the expert properties window uh, what these inputs uh, mean is um, certain controls that uh, you as a trader can change or to adjust the behavior of the uh, forex robot that you're testing you're back testing and these are the same controls that you will see when you launch an expert advisor on your chart to actually trade you will see these same controls and um, therefore it it kind of matches up so uh, depending on your back test depending on the settings that you set here and if you're happy with them then you can set the same settings in your real uh, when you're trading your real account with that uh, expert advisor and um, why would you want to adjust uh, the behavior of the expert advisor well because first of all you might want to have different uh, presets for different financial instruments or periods uh, meaning time frames and uh, that, that is essential because uh, different uh, financial instruments behave differently and therefore expert advisors would trade them differently also with time you might need to change the settings of your expert advisor or you might uh, have different preferences for example here uh, you can see a lots parameter and a maximum risk parameter which are responsible for the amount of money that the expert advisor trades so um, therefore you uh, could adjust this to cater for your uh, risk averseness your, your specific risk averseness this different people would have different levels of risk tolerance i've prepared a short presentation on expert properties let's quickly have a look at that so you have an expert advisor which you want to conduct a back test for usually the expert advisor comes with a, a user guide or an instruction manual if if it's a purchased expert advisor uh, or if it's something that you developed yourself then you will know already what uh, the expert properties mean that is very handy because uh, based on the instruction manual or your intrinsic knowledge of the expert advisor you can knowingly set these expert properties to certain uh, values and you will either get unprofitable results like these two or uh, if you set the parameters correctly if you pick the right parameters you can get profitable results and that's uh, essentially what we're aiming for in this course we'll assume that we have an expert advisor and um, that we have knowledge of the uh, parameters that we need to set and we'll be aiming to uh, optimize or find the right parameters that will give us profitable results that and therefore that will warrant using these expert advisors on our demo accounts or even hypothetically real accounts for trading of course with uh, these pre-packaged expert advisors uh, moving average and micd sample it's uh, uh, quite difficult to get profitable results um, but uh, throughout this course we will be working with a proprietary algorithmic trading system which i will introduce to you in the next section of the course with that system we will uh, look for profitable results and hopefully we'll find them uh, so let's just go ahead and um, look at this chart this is the chart we got after our back test in the previous tutorial uh, for the moving average indicator expert advisor and now if we uh, change uh, some of the settings here the chart should change so let's go ahead and uh, quickly have a look at that so if we change the moving period to 24 uh, moving shift um, to zero for example lots to 0.5 and then we launch the expert advisor now you'll notice that the chart looks different and even though it's still not profitable that proves the point that we do have control over how uh, the trades are conducted and when the expert advisor enters the market and with what uh, volume of currency so that's basically the essence of uh, what expert properties are today we will be looking at the strategy test report Assuming that you have run a back test, the report can be found in the report tab down here. 
and what we will do is we'll right click on the report and we'll save as report and this allows us to export the report as an html file we will give it a name uh, which reflects which expert advisor was tested so a moving average report for example and we'll save that and as you can see uh, metatrader 4 has already brought it up as a file in our browser i'm going to zoom out so that you can see a bit more of the report um, at the top here we have some statistics around the test um, then we have the chart and then we have a, a full list of all of the trades that were conducted you can uh, reference this list if you need to find out something about a particular trade now we won't be discussing this particular report because i have a much more interesting report prepared for you i'll just bring that up now and I'll zoom out and as you can see from this report right away from the chart it is a profitable report and uh, I, I think it'll be more interesting for us to discuss this profitable report rather than um, that um, unprofitable one from the moving average prepackaged expert advisor so the system that was used in the back test for this report is called simple system version 2.0 and uh, this is a proprietary algorithmic trading system which we will get to know very intimately in uh, the next section of our course and you'll be able to download this uh, forex robot or you could you can copy the code if you like and we'll be working very closely with this expert advisor we'll be optimizing it back testing it forward testing it and making sure that it uh, gives us results like this which are uh, profitable and we can actually use on our accounts for um, trading uh, let's go ahead and uh, discuss this report we won't be looking at uh, the actual trades that were conducted because uh, we're more interested in the statistics up here I will zoom in so that uh, you can see uh, the text a bit clearer and we'll start from the top and we'll work our way down through to the bottom so at the top we have the name of the uh, strategy uh, the server where the test was conducted and the build of the trading platform Next is the symbol, uh, the financial instrument, and the time frame on which the test was conducted. Here in brackets, the dates are uh, the dates that the trader chose for the back test. And then these dates are the actual dates when the test was in fact run. Uh, sometimes the dates can be a bit different to the one specified because there wasn't uh, sufficient data. For example, I asked the test to be run from the second, from the 23rd of February, but the test was actually run from the 24th of February, and that is uh, possibly because um, there wasn't uh, enough data for the 23rd, maybe because that was a weekend or uh, something like that. Next, the model is uh, one of the three models that we discussed uh, in the previous tutorial. In this case, I chose the every tick model. Um, the parameters uh, is the parameters uh, list of parameters for the trading system. This line will be always unique to every uh, forex robot and in this case the simple system takes uh, five parameters which we will discuss in more detail uh, in the coming tutorials bars and tests there was a total of 4,000 hourly bars in this uh, specified uh, six month period uh, the number of ticks modeled was just over 4.2 million ticks and the modeling quality was 90 percent which is very good Mis mismatched chart errors is zero which is also um, a good thing uh, if this number is just above zero then that's not really a big deal that just means that there were some irregularities in the data um, initial deposit is the starting balance of the test the spread is the spread uh, at which the test was conducted in this case it says current three meaning that i chose the current spread uh, however i would uh, like to warn you that you should be careful with, when choosing the current uh, spread because sometimes brokers increase their spreads for the weekends and if you're running this your test on the weekend then you can find yourself in a situation when you're uh, running a test with a spread of seven uh, for a currency pair that on average during the week has a spread of four so you always have to consult uh, with the broker's website to understand what the average spread is um, but in my case spread of three seemed reasonable for uh, the british pound dollar currency pair next uh, the total net profit uh, is uh, how much money uh, you earned uh, or this system earned in on the during the back test and it is equal to gross profit minus gross loss so as you can see from the chart the starting balance was around ten thousand 
and uh, the final balance uh, was around 20,000. Uh, uh, so in this case, the net profit is the difference between the ending balance and the starting balance. So this uh, earned uh, profit is the total net profit. Um, the profit factor is the next uh, parameter or the next variable here. So let's bring up a formula and see how the profit factor is calculated. And uh, the formula for profit factor is gross profit over gross loss. So in our case, it would be this gross profit of $25,000 divided by $15,000 gross loss gives us a profit factor of 1.71. Uh, generally, in your uh, trading systems, you should aim for a profit factor above 1.5. And if your profit factor is below one, then the trading system is making a loss. Uh, expected payoff. The formula for expected payoff is net profit divided by total number of trades. And this is pretty straightforward as the expected pay payoff just tells you uh, what uh, is the average net profit per trade. So in our case, it's uh, $10,000 divided by 115 trades gives you approximately $93 of net profit uh, per trade. The absolute drawdown, the absolute drawdown is um, by how much your balance uh, curve went below the initial balance. So as you can see here, the lowest the balance cur curve has ever been is just $824 below the starting uh, $10,000 deposit. Maximum drawdown is the maximum of all of the drawdowns which are present on, in your balance curve. So a drawdown is considered um, between the maximum uh, in your balance curve and the consecutive minimum of your balance curve. So this in this, uh, for example, is a drawdown. This is a drawdown. This is a drawdown. And this is a drawdown. And uh, in this case, it appears that this is the maximum drawdown. And the total value of this drawdown was approximately $3,000, which represents 14% of the balance at uh, the top of that peak. Uh, a relative drawdown is the same thing, but backwards. Um, total trades is uh, self-explanatory. Short positions, that's uh, how many short positions we had, and that's how many, uh, what percentage of them we won. Same thing for long positions. Profit trades, um, that's, we had a total of 68 profit trades, and that was 59% uh, of the total number of trades we had, similar for lost trades. Largest profit trade um, just tells you the value of the largest profit trade in dollars. Same thing for uh, largest loss trade. Average, same thing. Uh, maximum consecutive wins and then profit and money. So we had a maximum of seven profits in a row and uh, they brought us around $3,000. And maximum uh, we had consecutive losses was six and, they, and we lost $1,700. The next line is the same thing, but backwards. Finally, the average consecutive wins is uh, the average profit in a row and consecutive losses, the average number of losses we had in a row. So there you go. That's how you read a uh, strategy tester report.